Nasty Nathaniel out here in the city of Redlands, California. And joining me is Pugface Media. And together, we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Redlands Mormon Temple. We're going to make sure that our friends at the LDS Church respect and honor our constitutional right to film what we can see from a public space. So let's go to church. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is the LDS Temple of Redlands. Uh, it's a beautiful structure. When we were actually uh, driving over here, Pugface and I, we drove by this building here. We're not really sure if that's maybe one of their wards, which is what they call their churches, or it might be a visitor center. Um, most of these temples have, uh, you know, a visitor center that's open to the public, so, you know, Mr. and Mrs. John Q. Public can go in and, uh, learn about uh, Mormonism but uh, we're gonna check it out see how they do see if they uh, respect public photography respects uh, the rights of individuals to film what they can see from a public space we got somebody we got somebody leaving there so the temple for Redlands was open in 2003. That's when they it was dedicated. Where they they say their blessing, and then they uh, it becomes a temple. <laughs> That's uh, Saint Moroni up there. But it's a beautiful structure. All of them are. I mean, they're really. Uh, you can tell that a lot of work goes into these. I mean. Um, just the way they, they really stand out. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, driving by here, I, I saw it from a distance, and as I got closer, I realized, oh, it's a temple. But uh, it's a pretty nice structure, you know, and the landscaping is real nice. You know, we got some palm trees up there. And this. Yeah, I mean, they definitely keep these these things up. I mean, they're not grubby or anything like that. I mean, they're really, really nice um, facilities. So we got that fountain there. Maybe that's the Fountain of Youth. Or maybe if you drink from the Fountain of Youth, you'll live forever. Or maybe turn into a vampire. But, yeah. God, this place is beautiful. It's just... It's a really nice structure. I really like. I mean, I know I keep commenting on how beautiful the place is, but it, but it really they really are. I mean, look at that. It's just oh, we got somebody coming. Oh, well, they're moving rather quickly. Oh wow, that's pretty. Oh, she's smiling. She's giving me a little smile. She's... Oh, maybe she thinks I'm handsome. Maybe that's why she smiled. I am curiosity. Hi. Do you just like taking pictures? Yeah, yeah. We just like to videotape in public. Yeah. So this is the Redlands Temple. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a temple in Redlands. Yeah. I know there's one. I've been to the one in San Diego. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it was a good phone. You can make a good picture. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to record it at night because they're lit up. You know, I, uh, I filmed the L.A. Uh, the Los Angeles Temple that's at really night. Pretty. Yeah. So no, we just wanted we just wanted to shoot it, and it's so this one's been here since 2003. 2003, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You you might I don't want to keep you forever, but um, I um I heard that before a new temple is open, before it gets dedicated, that they're for like a week they're open to the the public, and you can actually go in and yeah. We we moved to Marino Valley right when this one opened. Oh. In 2003, and uh, we helped with it being visitors. Or, oh. right, we helped with being what up. Uh, well, greeting people as they came around. We oh, a huge turnout. The parking lot was full. All the streets are full. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. Is it, is it possible to walk up in that tower, or is it just for? No. Those? No. Oh yeah, that tower is. I'm sure there is for someone, not for me. <laughs> for the cleaning crew or something. Yeah. Now, is that Saint Mar Moroni? Moroni. Moroni. Did I pronounce it right? Just Moroni. Oh, Moroni. Oh, okay. 
No, it's a beautiful structure. We really like it. I think there's one opening up in uh, around Sacramento or something. Oh, up in Northern Next California? Oh, okay, yeah, cool. We're open for a couple weeks for visiting and stuff. Have they you been to the one in uh, North San Bernardino by the university? There's a, there's a big... Um, oh, they have one there? there yeah. No, not one of our temples. Oh, okay. The church. Oh, okay. Like, you know, one of these, like the church. Oh, okay. There's one down in Newport. Oh. A lot smaller. Like Los Angeles is huge. Yeah, I've been to that one. Now they build them a lot smaller. Oakland is a has yeah, a it's big. Yeah, really pretty. I, have you been there? Yeah, I've there's been to the that Oakland one. Temple, and then right below there, there's a, a. I don't remember what denomination it is, but they have a, a Greek. It's a Greek church. Oh, really? And, oh, it is a wonderful place. My kids are waiting. I'm gonna get to. Them. Oh, okay. They have well, a Greek festival right by that Oakland Temple. That is so much fun. All right, cool. Well, sorry if we spooked you. We didn't. I yeah. was just curious. Everybody has a right to, to do stuff. And yeah. I just curious. We just like to record. You know, we're yeah, bloggers and stuff. Yeah, it's all good. It's all, all right. Good. Have a good evening, sir. All right, folks. Well, that's the way it should be. Friendly. You know, there's no need to freak out over a camera. So uh, that was a that was a good interaction. an individual over there walking around he might be temple security and I'm actually not being silly they do have their own security at these temples just like uh, the Church of Scientology has bike guards that roam around Big Blue uh, the LDS temples have their own security I guess Mormon security or whatever oh we got some Mormons going into the temple going to go in there and do temple things. I wonder if they have a bar in there. I wonder if you can order like a margarita on the rocks or... Probably stopping to show their ID, making sure they're over 21. Well, we got uh, Fred and Ethel Mormon right there. They're, looks like they're getting ready to come into the, the temple. Well, they look like they're old enough to drink, so maybe they won't have to show ID at the bar. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this is a swinging place, folks. I'm impressed. Maybe, maybe I'm to have to look into going inside. See what they have to offer. Oh, we got a whole line of cars. Ah, this is like a, this is like a demolition derby. Hi! Oh, they've got a wave. Oh, people, I can't believe how friendly people are. Well, I mean, I guess I can kind of believe it. I mean, I, like I mentioned earlier, my other temple audits were pretty positive. And, oh, he's driving a, I think that's a diesel. Good night. Hi, have a good night. Take care. Oh, wow. That, is that an explorer? Oh, they're, they're getting big. It seems like the explorers are getting bigger and bigger all the time. Oh, well, watch out, it's a Prius. Oh, stop the press. This is a hook cap, too. <laughs> and we got, oh no, it's a minivan. Ooh. Well, I didn't get any wave from her, so I don't know, maybe she's not camera friendly. Here, here comes that van again. That's the lady that didn't wave at me. Well, just because she didn't wave, that doesn't mean it's an automatic fail. I mean, you know. All right. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Yeah, we're taking pictures. We're filming the temple. Oh. Hi. Oh, really? What time does the temple close? I'm not involved with temple. Oh, okay. Do you guys know Parker Osman? No. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Take care. Nice van, too. All right, there you go. Well, they said they're not involved with the temple. What are they involved in? The Hare Krishnas? <laughs> All right, well, Pugface Media and myself, we're going to go ahead and wrap this audit up. I'm going to give the uh, LDS Church here in Redlands, California, or should I say the, uh, well, the LDS Church uh, Redlands Temple, I'm going to give them a pass. This is definitely a pass. Uh, I don't see how anybody could think this is anything other than a pass. 
but maybe some of you are a little bit more critical. I was, however, surprised that those people in the van didn't know who Parker Osman was, but hey, you know, I'll forgive them. So, Nasty Nathaniel from Pugface Media saying, happy trails. Now let's go have ourselves a margarita on the rocks. <laughs>